Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and there's a new patch update for Call of Duty World War II that nerfed and fixed a lot of stuff in this game. And it did come out around midnight on the uh, on the 10th of November, and again, a lot of stuff in this game got fixed and, and nerfed. So I want to discuss that with you guys real quick right here because there is a lot... And let's go ahead and get started. So first off here, we have connectivity improvement and optimizations. That's always nice to see. Fix the deranking issue. So in, pub, in a private match, whenever you would play a game immediately after, you would see your rank got lowered by like a couple levels or so. That issue is now fixed, so that's very good to hear. And then also, they address an issue where players encountered an infinite loading screen. That was always in Infinite Warfare. I remember a lot of people were complaining about that. And they never really fixed that, so uh, they have addressed it, and hopefully it's not going to happen ever again. And then the leaderboard stability improvement and bug fixes, they improved the general UI, so that's pretty nice to see there. And then loading optimization, so all this stuff is all connectivity based and just uh, a little fine tuning for uh, the UI and stuff like that, so that's always nice to have. And then next up here, they did do some improvements with the split screen, and then also here they added a new unlock inventory start to indicate when new items are added. That is very very good to have because a lot of times in this game when you got a new item you wouldn't be able to find it on your uh, little little menu because uh, you couldn't really tell what's new and what, what did you have that was old so they have a bunch of stars that's gonna tell you when you have a new item so that's pretty cool they also adjusted the hit marker audio to be higher default level and it also can be adjusted in the settings so that's pretty cool uh, a lot of people are complaining about the hit marker audio saying that it's not as loud and it just sounds all funky so you can actually adjust just that in the settings of the menu so that's pretty cool and then they've also fixed out of the world exploits for Gustav Cannon and St. Marie Dumont uh, the espionage basic training perk they reduced the time from 10 seconds to 6 seconds and also they only made it to where bullet damage is what's going to pain you on the map so if you were to stun them or nade them or anything like that it's not going to appear they're not going to appear on your mini map you have to hit them with bullet damage only and they're only going to last for 6 seconds on the mini map not 10 anymore and the next up there is some weapon tuning to allow for one shot kills outside of hardcore mode enabling challenge completion and they've also fixed a bug with the infinite a flamethrower and then they also fix the XP rate tuned in Operation Neptune the, there's also a fix for shotgun variants not appearing in your uh, in your menu and then finally the last three are just fixes for game battles gridiron and emblem editor they're just little improvements to be made so guys this is all the updates we have for multiplayer involving connectivity and glitches and that kind of stuff next up here the this is all the weapon tuning that was done in this patch you guys might get a little bit pissed off about this because they really changed the meta of this game in this first patch so let's go ahead and get started so first off they fixed the Walther toggle action shotgun they increased the damage at extremely close range and then for the brand LMG they also increased the damage per shot and then for the LMG bipod they sped up the ADS time when you're in the bipod stance and now finally here are the nerfs for this game you guys might be a little bit upset about this or I don't know let me know what you guys think about these nerfs in the comment section down below so first off with the bar rifle they decreased the fire rate and they widened the hip fire spread so the bar did get a pretty hefty nerf but I'm still uh, I've still used this gun a little bit and it still plays okay I mean it's not as good as it used to be some people are, are saying that it's a lot better because the fire rate is decreased because you can actually control the uh, the gun now and you don't need grip so I don't know let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below and then next up here for the STG 44 rifle they widen the hip fire spread not too much of a nerf there and then for the FG 42 this is where uh, this is where I'm gonna spend some time talking about about this so that they, they increase the recoil and then they widen the hip fire spread the FG 42 has some insane recoil now it's pretty hard to control the gun and you definitely do need a grip on this gun if you're gonna be using it so now the FG 42 does have some kick to it I mean actually a lot of kick compared to what it used to have but it's still a very good gun uh, but I'm gonna be switching up my meta from the FG 42 to the bar because the bar just has a decreased fire rate and it still does a lot of damage as well so I'm gonna be using that a lot more and the next up here, the machine pistols, they decrease the damage ranges on those. I'm pretty happy with that. And then finally for the sniper classes, this is where I'm a little bit skeptical because they said they fixed a bug with all sniper rifles zooming to the exact center when aiming down sights. I'm not sure if that's what made sniper rifles super overpowered in this game because especially for war and war snipers were amazing, but... 
uh, I don't know, like, were people actually that good with sniper rifles because of a bug, maybe? We're gonna have to wait and see about that one, uh, but I've played a few games already against snipers, and I really didn't notice that much of a difference against them, uh, but maybe they're gonna be a little bit nerfed now, especially in war. Like I said, war sniper rifles were a necessity. If you don't have snipers, you're more than likely gonna lose the game, so, uh, again, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on that one. And then finally, the last three are just some zombie fixes and uh, exploit glitches. So, guys, these are the patch notes for the very first update for Call of Duty World War 2 although there are some fixes that still need to be done for example you're still put in solo headquarter lobbies I was hoping they'd fix that already but maybe it's gonna take a little bit more time because uh, I think the work for that does require a little bit more hours and, and days actually so uh, hopefully that gets fixed very very soon but I do like how they also added 10 custom classes to your private match uh, me and my friends play a lot of game battles now so we're pretty happy about that one so guys that's it for the video if you guys did enjoy then drop a like and tell me your thoughts about this patch notes are you guys happy with it are you guys satisfied with the nerfs uh, again i want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below now guys i know world war 2 is still pretty buggy like i said the headquarters is still not fixed yet they're working on all that kind of stuff i do think this game is a pretty decent game it's definitely a lot better than infinite warfare in my opinion though you guys might disagree with me but i just feel that it's a little bit better than iw and uh so yeah this game still has potential to be one of the best games ever made for call of duty that still is always an option but they really need to crack down on these bug fixes and hopefully they do that very very soon so guys thank you so much for watching i'm a very tough rest of the day until next time i'll see you guys later